close to the Imperial Palace and Harajuku, Akasaka is a convenient area to stay if you want to visit in Tokyo. And that is where I spent two nights in two different capsule hotels to experience and share the newest trend. Two minutes walk from the station and here we are. The particularity of first cabin is their original room design. There are four types according to their website. For this time, I will stay at the business class cabin for 5000 yen a night. They have this card key system to activate the elevator and control who enters to the cabin area. I open the door The cabin is designed very simply, compact and clean I have Wi-Fi, two Japanese electrical outlets, a knob to control the light and the air condition. On this side, there is an earphone jack for the TV and a tiny mirror. The earphone jack works with this 32-inch television. This is a box to keep your valuable belongings. Listen. It doesn't make any sound. This hotel have thought out how to avoid any type of disturbance in order to keep this place peaceful. You are not allowed to set your own alarm. You have to ask for a morning call and the staff will come to gently tap your mattress until you wake up. What else do we have in this cabin? A pair of earphones, pyjamas, couple of towels, a toothbrush and disposable slippers. Let's leave the cabin and explore this floor. We can sneak into the first class cabin. It is more luminous than mine because there are two lights instead of one. Under the bed, there is a large drawer that you can use as a locker. Here is the place to store your bigger luggage. A quick overview of the lavatory. The hair blowers and flat irons are in free service. Let's explore further and head to B1. Nice fancy lounge. Oh, this vending machine is selling exclusively alcohol. Quick tutorial time! How to use a public bath 1. You take off your shoes at the entrance 2. You pick an empty basket to put your towel and clothes 
you can keep your variables in a locker. If you are ready, let's get inside. You have to wash yourself first at those individual booths. There is soap and shampoo, but you are allowed to bring your own products. 4. Once you are clean, let's get into the tub. If you have long hair, you should attach them into a bun so that it doesn't touch the water. Next to the shared bath, there are also separated shower rooms. This is a stone mat. I heard it has a great water absorbing power. I appreciate their laundry machine with English manual for non-Japanese speakers. Okay, it's time to wrap this up. What I liked about this hotel, it was very clean. I felt protected thanks to the keycard system. The mattress felt like an airbed, but I had a great sleep. The spa is nice, especially after a cold, long day. Now, what I did not like. I wish there was a USB charging port in my cabin. The windows are all covered, but I like to see a little sunlight. And finally, they have too many amenities. It wasn't very eco-friendly. Overall, I think the price point is a little above regular capsule hotel, but the quality of the cabin and the service are totally worth it. I would be very happy to come back again. This is the end of this review, but I hope to see you on part 2, where I will be reviewing a futuristic type of capsule hotel.